We know that high blood pressure or hypertension increases the risk of serious problems such as heart attacks and stroke if left untreated. It is therefore important that we get our blood pressure checked or check it ourselves. This short video will show you how to take your own blood pressure and how to read the results. Measure your blood pressure at a time that is convenient for you. If it is in the morning, do it before eating or taking any medication. Don't smoke, have caffeine or exercise for 30 minutes before having your blood pressure measured. Sit comfortably in a chair with your legs and feet uncrossed and your feet flat on the floor. Attach the cuff link to the monitor. Roll up your sleeve or wear an accessible top. Put your arm through the sleeve with the wire facing down towards the machine. Place your forearm on the table with your palm facing upwards and your arm relaxed. When you are relaxed and ready, press the start button with your opposite hand. The cuff will inflate quite quickly and you will feel a tight squeeze around your upper arm. Whilst it inflates, do not speak as it can interfere with the reading. The first reading you take can often be high. Wait two minutes, then take the reading again. You can then work out the average reading of the two. Write down the results and take your blood pressure the same time each day. The top number is the systolic and the bottom is the diastolic. If your reading is 140 over 90, this is considered as high. Don't panic, your GP can help you get this under control, so pay them a visit. 120 over 80 up to 140 over 90 is considered pre-hypertension. Your reading is within a healthy range, but you want to keep an eye on it. 90 over 60 to 120 over 80 is considered to be the ideal reading range. Below 90 over 60 is seen as low blood pressure. This isn't particularly dangerous, but it can be a sign of another health problem. Now that you know how to check your blood pressure, you can keep your heart health on track. You can even take other family members' blood pressure or teach them how to do it themselves. Good luck.